Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Josh and I am the proud owner of a 79 Corvette. I'm actually rocking a new shirt. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, today I have a special video for you guys. This is the installation video. Since I bought the car, uh, RPM tachometer has not has never worked. It's always on like 35,000 or 3,500 RPMs. So I went into a couple of forums, looked into a couple of options and decided to go ahead and replace the tack board circuit board. I went ahead and ordered a Intellitronic circuit board from Corvette Central and it just got delivered. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and test it out and see if it works. And if it does, then I'll be extremely happy. And if it doesn't, then at least we know that the problem was not the circuit board and could be something else. If you guys are interested in watching this video, feel free to stay. If not, feel free to watch my other videos. I was actually on a car event last week and recorded a really cool video about that. Feel free to check that one out. Thank you so much for watching. Our first step is to remove a couple of screws. We have a screw here and a smaller one here as well. Then we would have the same amount of screws here and here, here and here, and on the side. So that brings us to about eight screws in total. I do believe that I am missing this one right here. So I think I have seven screws. Keep in mind that there is a larger screw here and then a smaller screw here, same for each side. So be sure to take both of them off as one of them holds the, the I guess the plastic encasing to the to the gauge cluster and the other screw holds it to the body of the car so you need to remove both screws or else you won't be able to remove anything else and sorry about the awkward position of the camera uh, i couldn't find a better way to do it but let's get started and here's the big screw as you guys can tell just a pretty regular gm screw And here's our little screw. And be careful not to lose them. These are very like little screws and they're very particular ones. So don't lose those. You should have about three of them. Now that we've removed all the 3000 screws that this thing has, we are able to remove the first portion of it. I do want to point out that there is a lot of plastic and metal combined over here so just be careful where unscrewing and screwing the nuts or the bolts again and the reason for that is because it's very fragile keep in mind that this is a 40 year old car if you screw something way, way too hard you might break the plastic and you just want to be able to take your time you know breathe in and breathe out no stress and do things the right way with that being said i'm using this tool to remove the the next screws so let's get started here it is here's the first one after we remove those screws we're gonna go ahead and remove that cover just gently here it is in all its glory very interesting color in the back kind of blue very interesting um, anyways, let's put that to the side and now we can remove our parameter. Now for that, I am using a hollow uh, screwdriver, which is this one. And this one has a magnet to catch those screws, which is really cool. This one is a one fourth screwdriver. So we're going to go ahead and use that to remove it. Oh, almost removed the wrong one. That's why I'm not a surgeon. First one is out. last one is out. And now we can remove the tachometer and see what's behind it. We have a green circuit board. There's quite a few different screws in here. I just noticed that these little screws over here, they're hollow. So we do need to be very careful when taking those off or you might damage them. But essentially, this is the original circuit board. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new circuit board. This is from Intellitronics and I find it to be a beautiful circuit board. It's actually a little bit smaller than the original one, but this is it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that and see how it works. As I mentioned, I got this from Corvette Central. Corvette Central has amazing parts for the car and actually the pricing is a lot better than other sites that I've been to. For now, let's go ahead and start replacing them. 
just a quick heads up guys i am using a size number eight to remove these hollow nuts and you gotta be very careful just untie it just a tiny bit and that way you don't suffer damage on the tag board or in the nut and i know this is a weird angle uh for the camera and for me and for everything in between but uh it's the easiest way i could figure out how to do it without getting off the car how to do it very carefully just be very careful when removing these screws you do not want to damage not just the tag board but also the new circuit board you don't want to damage it getting it right out the box and not working let's go ahead and put this to the side we want to be very careful with this as you guys can tell it's still pointing at 20 so let's see if we can maybe yeah so we might need to replace this as well i don't know we might just need to replace the whole tag board actually uh the tachometer actually but we'll see uh, another thing that i wanted to point out is don't attempt to clean this too much if there's a little bit of dust just kind of remove it gently and the reason for that is because it's a 40 year old car this is paint on metal so if you clean it with any type of uh detergent or any type of like windex or anything you might peel off the actual letters so or the numbers so don't attempt to do that just be very gentle with it just be very careful with it too so let's put this to the side and i did wanted to show you a comparison between the two the intellitronics uh tack uh circuit board i'm sorry is a lot smaller and it just looks really pretty uh it's flush on the back there's no circuits or anything going through i'm, I'm speaking about things that i don't know but there's none of this like batteries or any of this whatever this is called uh, it's just a very clean circuit board compared to the to the new one so very excited about that actually and i do can tell how this one might be the problem this one's burnt that's like a burnt stain there so i think this one just doesn't work so i have really high hopes for this and if you have any questions please let me know those three screws that we saw that are not attached to the tachymeter so the ones that are over here those will go directly into the back of the panel so we've got to make sure that we install all the screws correctly or else it just may not work all right let's get started let's get the screws going make sure you remember the placing i will post a picture of the old one and the new one to to let you guys know exactly what the placing for it is And these are hollow, so you can actually tie these ones out with your hands. Just again, don't put too much stress on it as this is a uh, circuit board and you might damage it very quickly. So just be very careful and take your time. All right, now we are ready to install the rest onto the tachymeter. So let's go ahead and put this in. Just be very gentle when grabbing the, the tachymeter. Do not mess with the needle too much because they're very fragile. The one the speedometer on my car actually broke so i had to glue it and it was just a whole bunch of uh unnecessary problems that i didn't i was just not careful enough so please be careful i said these are hollow so just be very careful want to make sure that they're tight correctly and not loose but just again be very careful all good this is how it should look. Still point out to 25. Let's give it a try. Let's plug this in and see how it looks. Now let's see if it works. Let's test it out. One thing to know that is this is a pretty much a pressured kind of tachymeter. So there's nothing to connect. It's almost like a plug direct fit. And so don't worry about putting too much uh, stress or pressure in it. All right, let's test this out. Oh, so it seems to be working just fine. It's stuck at 10, but the needle did go down. I think if we give the car a crank, it might, it might start moving, which is what we want. But for now, let's just go ahead and install everything back together. And then we'll turn the car on and see if it revs or the RPMs show any different numbers. 
but I think this is a good sign. Huh, okay, this is something interesting. So when I turn the car off, it goes back to its uh, normal position or to the position that it had before. I don't know if I may have to change the tachymeter completely, uh, but it seems like the circuit board does work and it's doing its job. But it's interesting how it just goes back. If you guys have any uh, comments regarding this, if maybe I need to do a tune-up or something that needs to be done, uh, please let me know down in the comments and I will go ahead and do it and post a video on this. But for now, this is a very interesting situation. Let's go ahead and put everything back together and we'll see if it works. All right, remember, we're going to start by installing back the tag board. All right, now that we've got that installed, don't forget to install your, your cover for the panel. And again, just be careful with the needles. Try not to touch any of the needles or any of the other boards. Once again, take your time. It takes patience. This job takes about 30 minutes to do. So we don't need to make it any longer by breaking screws or by breaking plastics and then having to replace them or anything. Just take your time, be careful, and just be patient with it. There's a lot of screws that go into this. All right, so now we are on our last part. And remember, we have a long screw and a short screw on the upper parts of the, of the panel. You're done with the big ones you can start with the little ones let's go on the side on the upper part of the dash only and for the little ones it only takes a few turns and they'll pretty much be tight enough to where you can safely continue on to the next one and now as i mentioned i am missing one of the screws here i'm just gonna go ahead and install this probably get another one and install the other one later on so all right so we are done so just a quick recap on what we did is we removed the glass the glass we removed the plate cover we removed the tachymeter we went ahead and took off the old circuit board and installed the new one from intellitronics intellitronics went ahead and installed everything back installed all the screws no missing screws and no extra screws now let's make sure, let's go ahead and crank it up and see if this works So far, so good. I think we got it to work perfectly. I don't know necessarily that it's reading the correct RPMs, uh, but I'm just glad that the needle is actually moving. I'm very happy about that, to be honest with you. Um, I do want to look into maybe seeing what's going on and why does the needle kind of retract and go back to its like original position. I don't know if this needs a tune up or I know, the, I know there's a cable that might need to be twisted. That way it starts reading correctly. So I'll look further into that, but I will take it off for a drive this weekend. And I'll show you guys how the needle uh, behaves during my drive. And we'll see if there's any further things that we need to do. But for now, I think we got it solved. I'm, I'm very happy about this. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Intellitronics as well as Corbett Central for making this possible. Uh, the shipping was super quick and pretty much expedited to me. I got it way sooner than I thought I was going to get it. So I'm very happy about that. So huge shout out to Corbett Central for making this possible and also for making the instructions very easy to read. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked the content of it. But with that being said, it took about 30 minutes to do. It was a very straightforward job. So I'm very happy that this DIY actually worked. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and drive the car this weekend and see how the needle behaves and see if the readings are correct or incorrect. And then we'll see if we need any further diagnosis for that. But for now, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for uh, staying with me. Like and subscribe. If you have any comments, comment down below. And please let me know if my shirt is uh, cool. I think I'm going to wear it from now on. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye.